We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey, hey, Star Wars fans, welcome to actually another episode of Power of the Force Friday. We're still hothing about here. It's been a few weeks of hoth-related stuff, which, you know, for you, Danani in Australia, coming into the festive season, it is getting a little bit snowy. Um, unfortunately, there's no beach versions of Luke Skywalker and Han Solo and stuff like that, so it's kind of irrelevant down here because we're sort of going into a hot summer, although at the moment it is it is taking its sweet time. But yeah, as I've as I've said, we've we've taken a look at snowtroopers, we've taken a look at rebel soldiers, we've taken a look at Han Solo last week. So we'll take a look at Luke Skywalker in his Hoth outfit. Another cool figure. This is one I wished I had as a kid to go with the Han Solo that I had. And I uh, mentioned last week in the Han Solo video that that was a figure that had actually been part of my collection for a very, very long time. And uh, yeah, looking looking at the back of card backs, I've always wanted to get Luke to go with him. Always wanted it. Never got it until I was, you know, an adult. But, you know, I still get that feeling of fulfillment from adding a figure like this to, to my collection, which it's probably been, I've probably had it for a few years now. Um, but even, you know, even at now 36, I'm still adding figures that I wanted when I was you know, 10, 10 years old, 11 years old, looking at the uh, Power of the Force 2 card backs and just sort of dreaming about which figures I would add to my collection if I had the chance and, you know, had the pocket money saved up to do so. I still get that kick now, you know, some 20 odd years later. And uh, it's very fulfilling. It's very exciting. Um, and yeah, this, this, just, this is a cool one, man. It's, I just I love having all the looks. One day I'll do a bit of a group photo, get all the Luke Skywalkers together, all the different Lukes. And the Power of the Force Luke group shot. So obviously this one came out in, uh, yeah, this was 1997. Um, so it would have been, you know, 9 or 10, depending on the time of year this came out. Quite a few years removed from the original vintage Kenner version. There he is. Not in the greatest condition, but still not terrible. He still sort of carries forward that sort of side, the sort of headscarf on the side. And for the longest time, I thought this was just a standard... Um, Rebel Trooper. I can't remember. Maybe it still is. I always get confused between the Rebel Trooper and the Hoth look. Now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> Give me two seconds. very much yeah I'm very much second guessing myself because you know I, I know a little bit about vintage but as I've stated this this is my childhood this is my vintage so to have these two together I'm 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 really second guessing myself now <laughs> I'm going to do some research afterwards because I don't know maybe this is like I don't know I I'm having a complete brain fart right now this is this is absolutely insane, but either way, the two Hoth guys. I'm pretty damn certain it's this one, just because of the uh, the sort of scarf wrapped down the head. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I just sort of peered over and I'm like, hang on, is that Luke? Anyway, I'm gonna do some homework after I finish this. Don't at me. <laughs> I'll have it all figured out by the time I've. By the time this video goes live and is uploaded. Um, but I do have a more sort of modern 
version. It's not vintage collection. It's part of the five POA line uh, that sort of came out. Uh, what is probably the current Dark Times? So there were the original Dark Times between the Kenner, vintage Kenner and the Power of the Force days. And then there's the, the Dark Times when, um, you know, they started going five POA. And, uh, yeah. Needless to say, we didn't go too deep into them. Um, but I still keep this one on the shelf. Um, you know, his back's turned. I've got him facing down against the Wampa. Which, the Wampa that came out, which actually, I'm pretty sure he came with this figure, to be honest, um, was actually a damn good Wampa and worth, worth the price of admission just to pick that up. So I do... I do keep this on the shelf. Today's standards, no way this one holds up. Um, they've re-released the vintage collection version, which I neglected to show today just because I've got it on a tauntaun and I didn't want to take him off. Um, and I wanted to talk about, you know, just another 5POA version, basically. And the lightsaber's a little bit nicer. It does have the pistol in the holster there. Some of the five POA stuff had good sculpts. Um, that was pretty much where it, where it stopped. So, um, yeah, we're talking about the power of the force. So very much keeping that similar sort of look to Luke Skywalker's face. They didn't change too much of the sculpt there, obviously. Had to sort of rework the rest of it, but um, yeah, the sculptors in the 90s definitely sort of stuck with the uh, very similar look. Similar look for Luke. I don't know, I've, I've really always, I've always liked the Hoth outfit. I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't know, it's just, I like the pilot. I like the Luke X-Wing pilot. There's just something about it that, I just really like something different. I always wanted to do the... Um, I think I've spoken about this <laughs> dozens of times over the years throughout many, many videos. Um, the X-Wing pilot Luke. Always wanted one of those, but without the uh, the helmet on. And had I, you know, understood what, what it would be like to do head swaps and, and stuff like that, I probably would have done it years ago. And Hoth, Hoth figures were the same. It was, would have been cool to have him, you know, running around without the headwear on and you know, just in a Hoth outfit, but, you know, I guess he's still going to get cold ears and frostbite on the ears probably wouldn't be all that fun, so. I have had to borrow this lightsaber from another Luke, but wanted to share how it looks anyway. It's sort of lacking on a few Power of the Force figure accessories. Um, I think because a lot of these figures I've, I've bought loose um, without accessories. You know, kids of the 90s, much like kids of the 70s and 80s with these, you know, accessories, hard to lose, easy to lose, hard to find again. But I don't know, how do you feel about the Hoth, Hoth look, Hoth outfits? Obviously Empire Strikes Back is just a, you know, it's a masterclass in film, really. I'm a little bit biased towards Star Wars, but I don't know. I, I like this figure a lot. I'm glad to have him up on display with Han, which Han has fallen over, I've just noticed. So I'll have to do a little bit of rearranging when I put this guy back. But uh, yeah, not sure where I'm going next week um, with Power of the Force. Power of the Force Fridays. Um, I'm just going to take a, take, a, take a look and just... Pick a random figure out, I think. It's just going to kick off kick off a new new stage. You've gotten through some Hoth stuff. Hoth stuff. Um, we'll do something different. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and the last few weeks. Taking a look at some, you know, some cold weather gear focused characters from Power of the Force 2. But uh, yeah, we'll see you again next week for another video, another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Until then, may the Force be with you, always.